Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous videos, we have seen how we can develop various models using machine learning applications. So with this video, we will start a new series where we'll be applying Python for various applications in water resources. Let's say, for example, for developing various maps, for various uh, models which we can develop in Python and compare them with our generalized models to see the application of Python in the domain of water resources. In this video, we will try to develop a code for plotting of shapefile in three different phases. In the first phase, we will write a simple code so that we can plot the shapefile in a generalized format without much of any changes in the representation of the shapefile. In the second phase, we will try to develop the code in such a way that we can have a better representation of the shape files and also the coordinate system in a more understandable format with a good representation of the area of the shape file. In the third phase, we will improve the code so that if we need to project our coordinate system of the shape file, we can project it into a new coordinate system for a better representation of the shape file and also have other elements like the base map legend and also scale in the representation of the shape file obtained as a result of the code so to start the code initially we will have to import the shape file into python for which we want to develop the maps so let's say we will name the file as shape underscore file which is representing our shape file which we want to import in order to import the shape file we can paste the path of the shape file where it is in this certain way with inverted commas as you can see here which I have already pasted. So if we go to our python console and paste whatever the line we have just written into the python console we can see that the result on the right side shows that a file named shape file is written in the data with the path of the data. So this is how the shape file is being saved into the python and once we read the shape file we can get more information about the components in the shape file so now let's create another variable named shape underscore f i l e e this is the variable name on which we will read our shape file so that we know more information about the shape file in order to read the shape file in python unlike gis where you can just pull your shape files and you get information here in python we need to import modules which help us to read various special information here we will use a module named geopandas geopandas is a module which is used for understanding and presentation of geospatial data in python so what i'm doing here is i'm importing geopandas and naming it as a short form of gpd so that i can use it for various applications so how can we get geopandas in python so if we go to our file settings and we can see the python interpreter here where we can have various modules added into python by clicking the plus button and if you just type geopandas here you can see the package and install it so you can install it in various methods based upon the various type of interpreters you're using and here i'm using pycharm so if you use spider or any other python uh, tools you can have other forms of adding the modules so we have our module in python the next step is to read the shape file so to read the shape file we can write the line as gpd dot read underscore file so if you see below you have read underscore file already being shown by python and showing what are the various variables which are needed for running this code so here we will just paste the name of the variable or the file which we created earlier which is shape file so if we try to copy and paste the same in the console here you can see that it is showing an error the reason why it is showing error is Although we have written our import geopandas in our workspace, we did not put it in 
to the python console so now if we just paste import geopandas as gpd in python console and run it again like this you can see that there is a result which is being saved with the file name shape underscore file e which has all the information of the shape file in geodata frame so if we double press on the geodata frame and wait for a few seconds we can see the data information whatever is saved in the shape file as seen in the right side here it contains information about the geometry the area of each polygon and also the various regions of information which it has here here i have taken a shape file of catalonia so we have information of barcelona girona tarragona and other regions so once we have seen the data in shapefile the next step is to check if the shapefile is having any coordinate system assigned so in order to check the coordinate system we can write a simple line like a variable naming p is equal to the shapefile whatever the shapefile which we have read with a double e dot crs so once we have written this file and if we try to put it in the console we can see in the right side here that the data p is saved with a epsg code of 25831 which represents the utm zone 31n so we can understand from the shape file that it has an assigned coordinate system which is deemed to be correct for the area of catalonia so we have confirmed that the data has a coordinate system which is correct the next step is to write a line which helps us to plot the code so we can just write shape file with a double e dot plot so that we can plot the shape file but before we can plot it one important thing here is we need to import the module of plot so that we can have a figure with representation of the shape file so in order to have the module we can write import matplotlib.pyplot as plt so here matplotlib is a plotting library for python which is used for creating the plots and pyplot is a function which we use so that we can get the plots to work like plots in matlab so once we have written it we can write the line of shape file double e dot plot and in the next line we can just ask the python to show the plot by writing plt dot show so these are the lines which we can use to plot the files and we can either do it by copying pasting in the python console or just run here in the right side so if we run the code we can see that the figure will be generated in the right side as you can see here with the coordinate systems of x and y and the shape file being represented although this is not the best representation of the shape file you can have but these are the simple lines with which we can have a plot in an easier way so this is the first phase of the video where you can plot it with a simple code in the next phase or part 2 of the video we will have few more additional lines with which we can plot a better figure with a transparent background as well as having the labels with an understandable x and y coordinate system